An East Bay woman who co-founded a nonprofit that helps the homeless is about to lose her own home. She says it's been difficult trying to find a new place. KTVU's Amber Lee live in Oakland tonight after catching up with a woman who is volunteering out on the streets of Oakland today. Amber. Julie, earlier this evening, I met with her at a homeless encampment along Martin Luther King Jr. Way. Now, despite her own situation, she says she'll continue to do her best to help others while in need of help herself. Hey! You next, right? Okay. Sharon Alexander, with the help of volunteers, feeds the homeless in Oakland every week. She is co-founder of Arthur Jean Safe Place, a nonprofit. I'm doing something that, for that one moment in time, may help someone else. Uh, without judgment, with respect. Alexander tells me she was once homeless herself and loves to serve those less fortunate. It's, it's from my heart. I just, it's a passion. But now she says she and her nonprofit will be without a home after January 31st. Clothes and things like that, we'll put them in backpacks and we'll, you know, bring that out too. Alexander runs her nonprofit out of her home in San Pablo. She tells me she's lived here for 12 years, but the property owner's failure to fix multiple code violations is forcing her out. She and her grandson, who volunteers by her side, are packing up and praying that they will find a new home. We're not going to give up, but it's just that... It's, it's very scary, I'd be honest with you. Scared and grieving, she says her partner and the nonprofit's co-founder, Ronald Wolf, died three months ago. Still, she's determined to continue their mission. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Lynette Vaughn tells me she's battling an addiction to crack cocaine. She says Alexander's weekly offerings of a hot meal are a lifeline. It helps a lot. It helps a lot. You know what I'm saying? She comes up. She comes every Sunday, and you know we. I be right here every Sunday. Alexander says helping others gives her strength. I just keep going, one day at a time. One day at a time. I'm looking at resources. My whole world is seems like it's crumbling down, but I believe that I'm gonna be stronger after we when we get through this. Alexander is moving most of her belongings into storage. She plans to stay at a motel for two weeks. Beyond that, she says she has faith that things will work out. For more information about her nonprofit, go to the wet link section of our website, ktvu.com. Julie? Yeah, she is an incredible source of inspiration. Amber, thank you.